In this video, we'll be going over the types of user inputs that are available in MindStudio. A user input allows you to collect a type of user data and save that data as a variable. Make sure to check out our video on user inputs for additional information. Once you've opened a new user input configuration page, you'll be able to select the type from a list of user inputs via the drop-down menu. The long text user input collects long answers or long bits of text from the user. This could be an entire blog post, sections of code, and more. The short text user input is mainly used for collecting single words or short answers, such as names, ages, years, or a single sentence of text. Text choice allows you to create multiple choice answers to a question. The text from the chosen answer is what gets stored as a variable. You can allow for users to pick one or any amount of choices. The image choice user input works the same as the text choice, but instead displays uploaded images as selections to a prompt. Each image has a required text field where you add the interpretation. The interpretation is what will get stored in the variable. You can also choose the selection amount, the image zoom, and whether or not you'd like to show the labels. The rating input allows you to set a 1 to 5 rating of any topic. These are best suited for agree to disagree types of questions. The date input allows you to extract a date selection from the user. The display input does not actually collect any information from the user. It is rather best suited to display a set of instructions, images, or any additional info you'd like to let users know as they are taken through your workflow. The upload file input allows the user to upload a file from which the text can be extracted and saved as a variable. You can allow for all available file types or select a specific file type for the upload. Last, there is an image upload input. Image upload allows the user to upload an image for processing. This input is most widely used in tandem with the image analysis block, which utilizes vision models to process images based on a prompt. Thanks for watching this video about the different types of user inputs. We'll see you next time.